To set the pump to 4,000 PSI, with the tool not engaging the nut, turn on and pressurize the pump to see where the pressure is currently set. In this case, the pump pressure is 6,500 PSI. Always regulate hydraulic pressure from lower to higher. Do not try to back down to the target value. Instead, loosen the locking nut under the pressure regulator knob. Unscrew the pressure regulator a few turns until when you check again, the pressure is below our target of 4,000. Press and hold the remote button, and while doing so, gradually screw in the pressure regulator knob until the gauge reads 4,000 PSI. If you pass the target, release the button, unscrew the regulator knob, and try again to stop at 4,000. When ready, retighten the locking nut and check the pressure one more time to ensure it did not change. Now, until the pressure is readjusted, the Avanti 3 tool will tighten until it reaches 1166 foot-pounds of torque, plus or minus 3%, or about 35 pounds one way or the other. But if one bolt is 20 foot-pounds high, they will all be 20 foot-pounds high, and consistency of torque is usually much more important than how accurate the number is. Place the tool on the application, making sure that the reaction point is sure, the socket is fully engaged, and the hoses are not in danger of being kinked or damaged. It's a good idea to bump the control button before starting to tighten, just to see how the wrench will react in operation. Ratchet the wrench until it stalls at the preset pressure and the socket will no longer turn. Be patient on the last few strokes as the socket will move very slowly. If in doubt, always try another stroke. Remove and reposition the wrench on the next nut to be tightened and proceed with your bolting plan. Often, bolts are required to be tightened in increments rather than all at once. This is done by simply choosing a lower pressure corresponding to the percentage of final torque desired on each pass. Reset the pressure in stages until the final value is reached. When removing a nut or bolt, we are not concerned with an exact torque value, only that our tool has sufficient power to break it loose. Reverse the direction of the tool, whether a square drive or narrow clearance style, as we discussed before. Turn the pressure up on the pump to at or near 10,000 PSI, giving the wrench its full power. Fit the wrench, once again checking the reaction point, the socket and the hoses for proper position. Bump the button and observe the wrench to make sure it is secure. Press and hold the actuator button until the nut moves counterclockwise. Continue to loosen until it can be removed by hand. If the nut will not move at 10,000 PSI, you will need a larger wrench with more power.